Hi Aries, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 53 Tarot and we're just going to jump in and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and the North Node. So of course it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer uh, same day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. All right, Aries, so for some of you, this person has a crush on you or likes you or has fun with you or wants to be your friend or is your friend, um, or they want to work with you or collaborate with you or have a partnership with you or, you know, either or there's romance. Um, or, you know, if you are in a marriage or relationship here with that, with this person, they just want to be here with you and kind of like work on things. Either or they want to make things very equal here with you. Um, there is some, There are some things they've chosen to kind of like reflect on and hang out on and kind of choose to stay stuck with, but also kind of figure out which is their own independence, money, business, finances, career path, and what to do and how to create that here with you and the abundance. And it looks like they are very honest and they want to be honest and or they want to tell you the truth, which is to, they want to be with you. They have romantic emotions towards you. They like you, they love you, they have fun with you. Um, yeah, either or of all those things here and they want to commit to you in any way, shape or form with that. And there's a sense of them really working hard towards building something here, creating something here with you, either or. And that's where they have a lot of excitement, fun, happiness, you know, a sense of, you know, passion. And so with either or. For some of you, it's an ex and they're, and they're scared to approach. For others of you, it looks like you're like they're happy and excited to kind of tell you this and relay this message to you and or they already have. There's something here that makes them feel pretty hopeful and inspired. They want, you know, a goal or a dream out of this here with you. They want to go like for some of you, they're kind of saying something about like they want to go back to the old, old times, old ways, you know what I mean, with you. Um, like a lot of nostalgic stuff here but they're also there is stuff going on for them where they're, they're thinking and reflecting on the past about whatever's gone on with the two of you which does make them kind of feel there's something here that makes them feel kind of restrictive and scared and stuck in the situation but realizing that they have to walk away from this about like with you whether it's about finances or something else but it looks like it's for the sake of a new opportunity here that they want to try and create here with you which would make them happy to do that and they that's what they're basically focused on working on you know in creating either their own finances career path money and abundance and or having this with you or they're just kind of showing for some of you like this is a co-worker of yours for some of you it doesn't have to be Okay, so I don't know what happens, but basically for some of you, they live with you. Others of you, they don't. But it's like they choose to focus on hanging on to a lot, you know, with money, building, creating, budgeting, and you know, for a home or at home or whatever it is here. And they feel pretty happy and, you know, confident and passionate to kind of take care of some stuff. And it looks like it's literally just to be done and close out a cycle here, you know, with you, with something here in their life. It does make them feel pretty happy, emotionally content to literally pick a fight and start a fight or compete for you or with you or towards you or get aggressive and start problems unfortunately 
Um, and then they just go cold and then they get guarded with you and towards you. So don't know what happened there. Okay, so it looks like here that they still want to work on things here with you and just be slow about it for the sake of having things to progress and move forward. Um, but it does make them go through something very painful here because either one, they are in love with someone else. It makes them, you know, see themselves in the situation between the two of you very differently because one, they want to be single, two, they're in love with someone else, or maybe they are really in love with you and want to be with you and pursue you. Or there's some sort of new beginning or they want to try again here with you whatever it is they take a break they relax they try to figure out what to do they still want something new you know there's passion here whether it's with you or it's something else or someone else and it looks like though for the majority of you it, they're just going to stay you know committed in this marriage or relationship partnership you know contract whatever this is about here and for a new beginning or for you know passionate reasons whatever it is okay Okay, so it looks like here that because they choose to do this and stay here, they they are to stay here with you. They're burdened and they're stressed out and they're panicking and freaking out. They're confused. They have to pretend that everything's fine, but they don't really know what the hell to do. And they try to seek counseling or kind of keep to themselves a lot and be alone and figure out what to do while they do some pretty taboo, toxic things behind your back or to you or towards you for the sake of success and recognition or wanting something to you know successful to turn out in regards to that i don't know if it's addictions obsessions toxicity whatever it is here okay so it looks like here aries that they're for the sake of success and recognition or whatever it is, that's where they choose to be extremely deceptive here towards you. And for the sake of more abundance and wealth and a sense of community and people and business and all of that. So they're what they're waiting for. They're trying to find a, find a way to make more money out of you or off of you somehow. So they're waiting and planning how to do that for the sake of, for the contract, for legal matters and or for a divorce or whatever it is here. Okay, for something here in regards to that. And now, but right after that, that's where they're really confused and don't know what to do about the situation. So they've become emotionally disconnected from you because they're run, they've run out of options and now they've gone cold here towards you. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Thank you.